Hello friends and welcome. I'm so glad you could join me today because I love sharing with you all kinds of tips related to skincare and makeup. And today's tips might be some of the best tips of all because we're gonna be focusing on how to save money on high-end skincare and makeup products. This is part two of a two-part series. The first video in this two-part series focused on how to save money on drugstore products. But today we'll be focusing strictly on how to save money on higher end products. And by the way, if you missed the first video on the drugstore products, I'll include a link to that video in the description box below under show more. If this is your first time visiting this channel, welcome. My name is Elise and I'm a professional working makeup artist whose specialty is helping those of us who are older look our very best. Every Thursday, we talk all things skincare and beauty and focus on tips, techniques, and product information that will work for us at this point in our lives. So if this approach sounds intriguing, I hope you'll join our wonderful family of subscribers today before you leave. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for giving me the gift of your time today. Now on to today's topic how to save money on high-end skincare and makeup products. I'll share a few general tips first, and then we'll get into some real specifics on some ways to save money that I don't think you would necessarily be aware of. The first tip is to always check out product reviews before purchasing, especially reviews by those in our demographic. If the person reviewing the product fills out the demographic information, it's really helpful to know how the product worked on their more mature skin. Second, always check the website of the brand whose product you're interested in purchasing to see if they have a sale going on. Many brands are more likely to have major sales around holidays, but those sales can pop up at any time. And you can usually find some excellent sales on products that will soon be discontinued. A great site where you can see a list of most of the major brands that have a sale going on is a really excellent makeup review site called Temptalia. At the top of the site, you'll not only find a list of the major cosmetic line sales, but also the start and end dates of the sales. Sales. And by the way, this site is also a really wonderful site to find thorough in-depth reviews of literally hundreds of makeup products. Third, buy makeup that performs double or triple duty. For instance, certain eyeshadow colors can be used as eyeliner and can fill in our brows. Lipsticks can be used as blush, bronzer or contour powder can be used as eyeshadow, and some shimmer eyeshadows can be used as highlighters. Fourth, as you probably know, many major department store makeup brands such as Estee Lauder, Lancome, and Clinique offer free gifts a couple of times a year with the purchase of a certain dollar amount of products. The free gifts are great ways to try out some of the line's other products. And if some of the free gifts happen to be items that you won't use, they can make really great stocking stuffer gifts for family members or can be donated. Fifth, Always check out the return policies of the stores where you purchase products to make sure they accept returns and how long you have to make a return. Sixth, don't hesitate to ask for samples of creams and liquids at the major department store counters or at Sephora. Now, samples may not be available now due to the pandemic, but do keep this idea in mind for the future. And at Sephora, you can also ask for pre-made samples when you check out at one of their brick and mortar stores. They love to provide samples and it's a great way to check out products before investing in them. And you'll also get two free samples with every online purchase that you make at Sephora. Seventh, purchase a setting spray. It helps makeup stay in place longer, which means touch-ups won't be as necessary, so your products will actually last longer. Tip number eight is another tip to help makeup last longer. Mix a bit of your moisturizer in with your foundation. It will not only be a blessing to your skin, but it will also extend the life of your favorite foundation. Nine, doing the math can really pay off. Some brands like Benefit sell smaller versions of popular products that are actually less expensive per ounce than the larger versions. Next, tip 10, is waiting to order from online retailers until you reach the dollar amount that will give you free shipping. Many online retailers also give free gifts with purchase if you reach a certain order amount. So it's really worth it to wait to order until you have a large enough order to qualify for free shipping. 
My next tip, number 11, will actually extend the life of a product. In this case, mascara. If you add a few drops of saline solution to old mascara, you're often able to extend the life of the mascara. However, you really don't want to keep any mascara longer than three months. Number 12, be sure to check out sites that have flash sales for high-end products, including beauty products. Some of these high-end sites are guilt.com, hotlook.com, and shopittome.com. Our next group of tips will focus specifically on how to save money at the largest upscale makeup retailer, Sephora. And as you probably know, many JCPenney stores have a Sephora store inside their location. But what you may not know is that the Sephora locations inside JCPenney have by far the best clearance and bargain areas. So when you can, check out the JCPenney Sephora store first before going to a standalone Sephora store. Next, did you know you can purchase discounted gift cards at a site called raise.com? This site recently offered Sephora gift cards for up to 5.5% off the face value. Also, look for JCPenney gift cards since they can be used at the Sephora stores inside JCPenney stores. And it's definitely worth it to join Sephora's free beauty insider loyalty program since every dollar spent at the store earns 1 to 1.5 points depending on how much you spend at Sephora during a calendar year. You'll also get a free birthday gift and you're eligible to participate in the Rewards Bazaar. The Rewards Bazaar offers new products available to you at various point levels every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Now these products go really fast, so be sure to see what's available every Tuesday and Thursday. And by the way, you can get to the Rewards Bazaar area if you scroll down to the very bottom of the Sephora website. You'll see a number of different programs listed, including Rewards Bazaar. And definitely the best place to redeem Beauty Insider points is online, since you get access to a bigger selection of online reward offers. And it usually makes sense to let your Beauty Insider points accumulate, since the higher the points, the better the reward. One benefit of in-store shopping at Sephora is that you can get free gifts with Insider points without making a purchase. Fourth, if you download the Sephora app, you'll get access to promotions that you won't find anywhere else. Fifth, always check the Sephora sales page, since sometimes there are discounts as high as 50%. Sixth, in addition to checking the Sephora sales page, also check the beauty offers page. Many times you'll find limited time markdowns, free products, and exclusive offers. And while you're at it, also check the free samples page, which shows the free samples currently available at various point levels. Next, number seven, always search for Sephora promo codes on Sephora.com and bookmark the Sephora beauty offers page. Number eight, you may want to sign up for the Sephora newsletter since you'll get the latest scoop on sales, discounts, as well as new products. Nine, as you most likely already know, Sephora has two major sales during the year, one before the holidays in late October or early November, and then one again in the spring, usually late April or early May. If you're a Beauty Insider, VIB, or Rouge member, this is when you get discounts on every product you purchase, 10% for Beauty Insiders, 15% for VIB members, and 20% for Rouge members. Number 10, if you download the Sephora app, you're able to access Black Friday sales early. And Sephora usually has a Cyber Week where product discounts can be as much as 50%. Next, number 11, be sure to check out value sets for some of the very best deals at Sephora. These pre-made bundles of popular products can be as much as 84% off. For instance, a past value set from Too Faced Cosmetics included 24 eyeshadows, two blushes, one bronzer, a highlighter, a mascara, and a lip gloss, and a travel size setting spray. In addition, there were four face powders and a bag. The total value of this set was $357, but it was being sold for $58. Number 12, check out the Sephora favorite section of their website for deals on best-selling beauty products. One thing to avoid are travel size products because they're some of the worst buys in the store. Number 13, 
be sure to check out what's going on at your local Sephora store. They often offer free events, classes, and services. And number 14, if you're a healthcare worker or a first responder, you can get 10% off your entire purchase. And last, but certainly not least, there are sites you may want to investigate which can save you money. The first is milled.com. This site compiles discount codes from thousands of retail newsletters on a daily basis. Just click on the beauty category to see what great deals are currently available. And finally, there is a great cashback site called Rakuten. It can not only save you money on beauty products, but also on things like clothing, hotels, dining out, and even groceries. You can earn cash back at over 2,500 sites by using it. Here's how it works. Rakuten gets a commission from stores when you make a purchase through the Rakuten website. Rakuten then shares part of that commission with you through their cash back program. Once you create an account, you can shop at stores online directly through the Rakuten site. Cashback will accumulate in your Rakuten account, and then you'll receive a check or money in your PayPal account quarterly. If you're interested in signing up, I've included a link to Rakuten in the description box below. And if you sign up for Rakuten through my link, you'll receive anywhere from $20 to $40 on your first purchase. This rate does vary from week to week. And in addition, I'll get a referral perk, so I'd be very grateful. Oh my goodness, we covered a lot of ground and we're done. So I do hope that some of these tips will result in some great savings for you on future beauty and makeup purchases. I know some of these options have definitely made a very big difference for me. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you found this video helpful, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up and also share it with a friend or family member who might also like to save some money on beauty and makeup products. And in the comment section below, I'd love to know any great bargains you've scored on any beauty or makeup products. I look forward to seeing you again next week. And in the meantime, I wish you good health and happiness and hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Take care.